What's up, YouTube? It's your main man, Gavin us in there, back with another YouTube video, and back with another gaming video, y'all. Now, today, I'm back playing Walking Dead, the Telltale series. Last time, you guys enjoyed the Walking Dead so much that you guys want me to play the second episode, and I'm excited to play the second episode for you guys. Um, I, I tried to make it with my face on it, but... Um, I don't have enough space on my phone, so what, I, what I'm going to do with my uh, future videos, I'm going to make it so when I have a longer uh, video, I'm not going to do a face cam, but when I have a shorter video, like with um, Control, which is going to be my next video, um, I'm going to do it with my face cam, so you guys stay tuned for those videos. Um, if you guys are ready to uh, watch it. Make sure you subscribe uh, to my channel if you're new, like the video up, and share my channel where I share cool things. Previously on The Walking Dead. All right, let's get it. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Oh my god. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. Mm. You got it, boss. Rest in peace to Doug. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. With or without you, I'm protecting my kid with my I hate wife. this old man so much. I want him to die. I want him to die. Any chance I can get to Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. No, it should. I can say the same to you. Wrong with you. This game series adapts to the choice of you. Okay. <laughs> See. Hey, hold on. Is it pop off already? Oh, damn. Three months later. Mm. Mimi. I will hit him one more time just to make sure. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well. That's another meal lost. This must be a new guy. I, haven't, <laughs> I still I haven't can't seen believe him. we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just <laughs> accidentally. Get some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Nah, he's just a hater. He hates on everybody. He'll get what's coming to him. He thinks I'm dangerous. a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health? I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? 
knock me flat. <laughs> nah, I still can't forgive him for that. I gotta get my get back once I get a chance. Done. No. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Hey, where they come from? Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. All right. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, mm -hmm. no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. We're it's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Then shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We'll we gotta try. get him out of there. Oh, we'll God, try, thank man. you. Cage Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. And then there's walkers. That's crazy. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. You have to get him out. You have to! Stop, stop, stop! Please, this is something to us. Please! Get me out of this! Why would somebody do this? Uh, there's gotta be something we can uh, do! James! Hurry! Uh, let's go! Let's go! Wow! Oh, oh, Come on. Come on, do something! something. What are you uh, trying to do? You think you can get it open? We use chain like that at the airport base to lift ordinance. You're not cutting through. There has to be a way out of this. There's gotta be another way. Alright. Is he? Is he gonna make it? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, mm. oh, oh, Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon. We don't have time what? for that. Alright, we gotta chop you later off now. We sorry. have to go. Now! Oh, God. to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Lee, fuck, I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this leg. Look at Lee. Look at this leg. We gotta do it one more time. He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! But why are you just... Bro. He always shit. Bro, he, did that no! he did that to himself, dog. He literally had open space where he kind of ran. That's crazy. Mm, mm, mm.
Okay, we back home. Big grumpy Streck making the fence. Making the barricade. I see you. Still don't like you, but I see you. Okay, one more time. Playing by yourself. Okay, duck. Watch your fire now. Could be our people. Girl, if you don't start with that soccer ball. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? We have time to explain. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? Mm -hmm. We are not Shut responsible up. for every struggling survivor we come across. Don't get no work we have talk. to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together. Wow, to I survive. thought her name was Linda. The only reason you're <laughs> here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter who's in charge. Those people it are doesn't. here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Come on, Kenny. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Shut up, Pierhead. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah. Streck. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh, man. Don't look at me. Oh man, y'all make me feel guilty. Why y'all just staring at me like that? Come on. Not everybody gonna get some. You know I gotta worry about the kids first. Then me and then Bay. I'm playing. But all right, let me shoot. See what you're doing. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, sure. I better not. Oh, ooh. it's okay. I'll I clicked the wrong button. Give me some space, okay? <sighs> I clicked the wrong button. Let me help her. I need space, Lee. Oh, I wanted to help her. I need space, Lee. I clicked the wrong button. How you doing, Clementine? OK. 
Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. You see how he doing? Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... Something. You do all I'm you could. sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So, so who, are, who you? are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. We got some food. Want something to eat? Let me get him the apple. Here, Ben. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick-me-up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really... I really appreciate it, man. What are you doing, Lee? That food should go to us first. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. Well, it's a good thing Kenny didn't see that. He might not be so understanding. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy it. Let me guess. Let me talk to Clementine first. Still have the walkie-talkie. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but. That's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay. You take good care of it then. I will. Aww. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. You get some crackers. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Yeah, let me get Duck some food. Let me talk to her first. Um, how you how doing, you? Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. That boy said go. <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. <clears throat> hey, Doc. How about a little food? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why he made that face? Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. So uh, some of these else. people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Let me see about Bay. About my Bay. Um. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. He's not getting nothing On the other me. hand, giving nothing. that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food too. We all need food. 
I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. I'd love to give it to you, girl, but... Back in a bit. Girls before hoes. I'm sorry. Kenny, what's the... Oh, robot dance. Robot dance. Okay, um... Let's see how Kenny doing. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. It does sound like Coast a smart does idea. does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. <laughs> Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Of course, babe. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. I appreciate still, it. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Man, no, I ain't got no food for you. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. What happened to my food? Get out of here with that, man. Let me see how that boy doing, man. I don't even know his name. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Mm, mm, mm. He's just a grunt with everybody. So his name Mark. Hey, okay. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. Um, you ever miss the Air Force? Air Force base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen. I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. He wanted to put his two cent in everything, dog. It gets so on my nerves. There just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm not giving you it for a bit. I'm giving it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You Nobody didn't think asked. to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The no. only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <laughs> mm. This man got to get out ben, of here. Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Mm. God mm. damn it. Mm. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... 
Oh, man. I'm sick of this shit, too. You don't think I am? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for the best. We're already struggling to feed our own kids. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not you, our problem. You try your best, girl. What about the other kid? What the? What the? Fuck? Get your hands off her! Man. Get him. Bruh. How you stop? You have one job, sir. One job yet. Come on, dude. You always fall. You okay? Yeah. Dang, that scared me. Oh my god. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, shut up! Down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Well, I knew that. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it's that's been standard, so walking fast. dead. Um, Car crap. accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Back off! Whoa, oh lady, relax! God. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Harley. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Well, yeah, come so, through, uh, baby. what do y'all think? Through. Yeah, let's You've go. got a deal. Let's see how it we'll is. bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Mm -hmm. So, this dairy, mm -hmm. you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Me? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. If he was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. 
Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor. Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Who's running things over there? It's a democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh... Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! Tiger! Hey! Fuck oh. you! Fuck you! Jesus. That boy said he had to make sure he dead Asshole. like in Resident Evil. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Mm, mm, mm. That boy said I had to double tap him. Here it is. St. John Family Day. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Hey, they, they secure over here. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow on good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. 
Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So let's see. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Um. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Mm -hmm. Doing the robot walk. <laughs> no, the robot slide. That's what I call it. Robot slide. No, not yet. Um, let's see what Mark doing. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. See this fence. Mm. Pointy. That's it. Just mm, pointy. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Are we your first we guess? can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. <laughs> Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. Like what he fired these some generators food, are so enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop mm -hmm. a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn mm -hmm. off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Mm 
All right, bet. That's a bet. That's a bet. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you <laughs> telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. He's a piece of that shit. That guy's yep. a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. I care about him, Here's man. one. You should have never put hands on me. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, <laughs> let's push it off. Uh, you can take this arrow. Disgusting. That can come in handy. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The Need fortress people. needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Uh... What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Oh, Thanks. yeah, for sure. There's another one. I see it. Yeah, you see it. It's right in front of you. <laughs> Double hanging off a of deer life. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you just gonna leave the hands there? Can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we can mm -hmm. get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. are on why the hell would he turn the fence on he knows we're out here ah! <gasps> ah! what the get to the gate what the get down you asshole Jesus we had an agreement now you're fucked who the fuck is that no idea fuck now what bruh the fence on that gate is our only way out I can do this all day Lee, get back here! You got lucky that time! Can't lure me to Yogi! Oh my god, get down. Blades are stuck in the dirt. Give us the food! Give us the food! Give us the food! All right, bet. Come on. I was stuck. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Get to you do anything you can fuck with us? Come on. Shit. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the move. Shit, that hurts. I already got one of you. Just gotta stay behind this tractor.
What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. I already got one of you. What about our arrangement? All right, bet. Let's go. Get it. Another one? Another one? How many of those That's things did we push down? We had a tractor. I'm impressed. Give us the food. Give us the food. Damn. You assholes. I see you. Bro. Behind us? That's crazy. What? That's crazy. How many of those things did we push down? It's my second time down in the series. Ain't no way I'm gonna die for a third time now. Push out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Doesn't look like he's gonna be okay. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Oh, yeah. Pandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? 
Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. See how that generator is. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Well, duh. <sighs> we go to the bar. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Oh no. I want to avoid him at all costs. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good, good leader, Lover. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Can I go in here? Yeah. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I can't go in there? If there's not enough no, room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Mm-hmm. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover from arrows, if that becomes a problem. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Don't kick me now. They look happy. Hey, Clem, oh, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Think of the dairy. It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. 
Yeah, me too. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't Almost pop like, a yeah! gasket. Talk to Kenny. Hey. Haley. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Um... Did, Did Duck and Katja here? get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. I thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Oh. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Over to their house. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. All right, let's get it. Big Draco. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Uh, let's 
see. You see anybody? Uh uh. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small it can't be their main base that's what I was thinking take a look around anyway there's probably some shit around here they stole from us empty but it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently nothing Empty. Just water. A hey, bowling water water. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. First few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Uh, not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Um... What else is around here? All these can't trash. Yuck. I don't need that. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Jesus, is a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. Shit! 
Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. The men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I faked them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them. And I'm staying here till she comes back to me. One way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? <laughs> I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. Fuck I did. That's them other people. These good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met him. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. <laughs> String him up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Oh. Dang. I honestly do. God want to shoot damn it. it. Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Some peace, lady. Shit, I'm just listening. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, well, calm down, oh princess. God, I'll do it myself. Them. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. 
Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. See what's up with her. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. <laughs> for a second. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. They go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. So what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Mm. We, found a, we found a tin and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. What were you and um, Kenny arguing what were you about? And Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. I can understand that. But I don't like him. Get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Mm, mm, mm. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What 
What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> hey there, Andy. Yeah. Oh, my. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. <laughs> like duty. <laughs> Kids. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. I'll let me give her a hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, you. did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Mm -hmm. I'd like to. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I had my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. <laughs> you been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't <laughs> judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, not, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know... Oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. We ran into some trouble out there. 
I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Day. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not, not much, much I guess. Exactly. Uh, How do you cow. run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pacing, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? I can ask you the same question. Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Oh, yeah, let me see it. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and. Something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How right. about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. I think this might do it. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. 
crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just, Just checking the out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I think I need to go get a, um... How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Um, that two bus has a two driver in it. What's that? Two driver? A screwdriver, I would say. <laughs> I guess I can't go in there. I guess this has to work. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. All right, bud, let's do it. Okay, let's do this. False alarm, I'm back. Shh. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff, even with the fence. And he needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. What? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. The generator. What about those generators? Mm-hmm. Let me go mess with it real quick.
There you go. Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast. Now we can do it. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where did he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, son of a fuck. Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Penny, come along, honey. Penny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Bro. Okay, let's get it. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. There's something shady going on in there, man. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Mark. 
But Brenda said he was up here resting. Where's that cord going? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Musty as hell. Candles. Smart. What do they need so much morphine for? Books. Nothing out of the ordinary here. that cord going? What the hell? Huh, what is that cord going? Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Shut Lee. Up. What's gotten into you? And Duck just, just busted stop. it down? They could use some goddamn manners. It didn't have to be this way. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have oh died anyway. God. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. 
It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. No, oh, no, you died. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking I, family. I don't wanna die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? It's okay, Clementine. <coughs> oh, no, you touched my baby. You're dead. I'll kill you! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's well, not the time. Up, dude. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. To walk her. Dad, eat. Uh, settle uh, down. I'll rip your goddamn head And make you Don't want to know what kind. Come on, try yourself. Our Shelves are pretty sturdy. Dad. We could climb up, uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. There's marvelous on the way. Let us out now, if you want to live. That is not gonna help. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. They're not gonna open the door! Let me see what Kenny got us. They got caught you, Duck Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Dad! This isn't- Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Stop! God damn it! Someone deserves that. I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? Goodbye. No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, 300-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. That man is dead. You both know what happens next. 
Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Bro, let me pause real quick. Oh my god. Even though I don't like this man. Deeply, I don't like this man. I can't let him die. I can't let him die, man. I can't let him die. Wake up. Wake up. Come on! Lee! Is he breathing at all? No! No, I don't think so! Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're what? putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're Three. fucking worthless, Lee! No! <gasps> It had to be done. You don't Dang. know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. True. I'm Good sorry. riddance. I know. Don't I ain't like him anyway. Touch me. <laughs> My baby. Are you okay? Is it over? Oh. Yes. For now, but we still need to find a way out of here. I know, I know, but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? <sighs> you walkie talkie. How about your walkie talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Dang. Folded. At least I don't have to worry about him nagging me no more. <laughs> there ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Lily. Well, good run, sir. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard you thing. You gotta do what you gotta do, Kenny. Well, at least one of us has got to. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with them. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I have a lot to her. I truly am. Larry and me, 
We might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. You gotta tell me twice. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Others. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Don't rush me, bro. If you're not gonna help, don't rush. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. You got this, Clementine. Got her name. Lily is on good terms. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Take this, yeah. There's this other weapon. Mm, mm, mm. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Me in there. Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't want to put that back, though. 
we can, oh we have to get one or the other I think that hook would do it good though Okay, maybe the taser. <laughs> maybe the taser. Alright, let's see. I think maybe the taser will be good, dog. Oh, I didn't know they had. Yeah, I didn't know they had that now. Oh, we can't take all three, dog. Alright, let's go. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Outside the bar. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Mm. Quit sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep. Not the kid. There's enough meat on the tray. <laughs> oh, I know, Mabel. This is my favorite cow, too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Lee, talk to me. He's inside. He's not coming any closer. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's got to walk past us to get to the meat locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. <gasps> Watch. He just stood there. Come on, Kenny. No! You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself. So others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism, Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> fucking coward. Night. Ah, no! Gotcha! Let's go. I'll keep Clementine safe.
Gotta go bay. Carly! Me? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Two left! Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. And stick close. And Dang, Lee, what be to careful. The, um, what's the name? But he didn't want to pick it up. This is the fourth time! Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda! Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're dead. Mm -hmm. You're dead. Okay, maybe not. Get up, Molly. Get the fuck up. You got me. <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Daddy and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> said, I said it's, it's over. over. Just walk away. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! What will my family? Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! They're getting in! No, let them get in. Let them eat them. Lee! Let's go. Mama too? <laughs> I forgot. <clears throat> what an episode, dog. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, yeah they, they were. were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second.
There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Oh, Eddie, you're not a bad happened. man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I, I shouldn't have done that. They were very bad men, Clementine, but that doesn't mean I had to kill them. Why did you? I, I wasn't thinking. I, I was angry. I was scared. But I did the wrong thing. You should never kill anybody, unless you absolutely have to, okay? Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Oh, my God. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. A shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? No, we taking that. We need the food. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Supplies? I'll pick it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. <laughs> Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? 
You're not going to let me live that down, are you? <laughs> oh, God. Lee, you're going to want to see this. Oh, shit. Somebody was watching us. There ain't no way. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking racist. <laughs> oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you where we are. Are we doing Okay. Where's your hat? I don't you can know. All can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who just... Do... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases him. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> Mm, man, this episode was crazy, dog. <laughs> Cannibals. Oh, uh, if you guys want to see more of The Walking Dead, let me know down to, down in the comments. Let me know if you guys want to see any more games down in the comments. Like the video up, share my channel with so uh, wherever you share cool things. And yeah, peace.